What is that strange guy doing in my house? That's a tough one. Who am I? I'm Bruce Gilden. And I sometimes take pictures. I don't want to talk to you. I talk to you all through lunch. That's enough. So I called Mick Gatto. He was very nice. He always was very nice. We got along very well. I said, Mick, I'm here for nine days. You know, can I come see you tomorrow? He said, you'll have to wait three or four days because I just had mouth surgery. I said, come on, Mick. I said, I traveled halfway around the world to photograph you, and you're going to tell me I got to wait three or four days? I don't, I don't remember what happened after that, but he called me back a couple hours. He said, I'll pick you up tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Here's Mick. He introduced me to a lot of his friends. He picked me up every day. He took me to his house and the other house out in the country, and um, I think he liked me and I liked him, because I don't think he would have suffered me for nine days if he didn't like me. Then I can show you the Syracuse book. You ready? You sure now? My father was a, a tough guy, so I relate to tough guys. I'm always fascinated by people that are tough. I deal with the struggles of, of humanity, and the pictures have a lot of soul, a lot of energy, a lot of intimacy. It's my style. You feel the people I'm photographing. I used to be a model. No, just kidding. I'm largely self-taught, even in my manners. No, I knew early on what kind of picture I wanted to make, OK? I, I, I would look at a picture and say, well, that's very interesting. I'm a student of the game. That's what people don't realize. I learned my photography from looking, looking at all these books, all shows. I looked at everything I could that I thought was important. My whole career, I don't think I've changed. You know, my attitude on life, who I am, what I am, what I like in photography. I respect something that's well-framed, that has strong emotional content in there. I always photograph close. I always wanted to take someone's soul. I want to take your guts out of the picture. I love that picture. This one. The father had to hold him to stand straight. I say photography is the one thing I stay with in my whole life. Maybe if I didn't have that, I might not be here. You know, subconsciously, it probably kept me going. What, did I answer that? Because my wife's going to kill me. I feel her from here. Here's the gilder. <laughs> Ta-da-da! You scared the birds, Ali. Don't make these moves. Look at them. Look at that. They're eating, though, Sophie. What are yeah. you worried about? 